Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So great, we've got to know a lot of things about uh, the rate of our breathing. So now we know why do we breathe faster when we uh, climb up the stairs. Now we also know why do we breathe fast when we just run with a lot of excitement and then we reach a place we see that oh, we are breathing really fast. So we got to know a lot of steps. Now, do you know that why do you feel hungry after doing a lot of exercise? Not only exercise, like after doing a lot of physical activity, when you play a lot, get tired and after that you feel hungry. So why does that happen? So I'm sure that by now you would have guessed because when you are doing so much of exercise, so this exercise could be any kind of physical activity. So when you do these physical activities, what happens? the energy demand of your body increases. Your body needs more energy. So, what happens? From where do you get this energy? This energy actually comes from the food which you have eaten. So, by oxidation of food, you get energy. So, when the energy demand is more, all the food gets oxidized to meet this energy demand. Now, after you have used up all the food, what happens? There is no more food inside your body to get oxidized to produce to give you energy. Now when there is no food inside your body, what happens? You feel like eating more food and that is when you feel hungry. So when you do exercise, more energy is used. So more food gets oxidized to produce that energy. So when all the food gets oxidized, you feel hungry. So that's the simple reason which makes us feel, hung, feel hungry after doing a lot of activities. Few more interesting things related to our breathing. Have you noticed that we all yawn when we feel sleepy? A lot of us, not only sleepy, sometimes when we get bored, then also we yawn. So why do we yawn? What makes us yawn? So first of all, what is yawn? I mean, what do you do while yawning? So it is like you open your mouth wide to breathe deeply. So basically, if you try to notice it while yawning, you are actually taking a very deep breath, breath. So while taking that deep breath, you are opening your mouth wide and that is what is called as a yawn. Now, if, if you actually try to uh, go deep into the reasons of yawning, you will see that there exists a lot of theories different from different perspectives that why do we yawn? Now, one of these theories tell us that the reason behind yawning is because of the circulatory system. Now, whenever we yawn, it causes an increase in the blood pressure. So, when we yawn, there is an increase in the blood pressure. Now when the blood pressure increases, what happens? Our heart rate also increases. So heart rate also increases. And when that increases, then blood circulation increases. So when blood circulation increases, what happens? Oxygen in the blood or oxygen supply is also increased. So this improves the overall motor function and alertness. So that is why when you actually yawn, you know, it makes you more alert due to more supply of oxygen to the blood. So that's why when you are yawning, you are actually trying to breathe even more deeply. So when you breathe so deeply, you are taking in a little more oxygen than what you take usually. So that extra oxygen will help you in better circulation of your blood and that's how it will improve your motor functions and alertness. So that's something which happens behind yawn. Sneezing, another interesting thing. We often sneeze. Sometimes we sneeze when we catch cold. That times it becomes more frequent. But even when we are keeping well, sometimes we tend to sneeze. So what causes sneezing? Now, when germs, dust, pollen, grains, etc., all these unwanted particles gets inside and irritates the nose lining. Now, when we breathe in, however, we have a lot of uh, uh, things like the hair, cilia, mucus, etc., to block the entry of these foreign particles. But these foreign particles can very easily enter to the nasal cavity 
so the lining of the nostrils so if it reaches there and irritates the nose lining a signal is sent to the brain to get rid of that foreign particle so whenever a foreign particle reaches the lining of your nostrils so foreign particle in the nostril lining and it irritates that nostril lining what happens a signal is sent to the brain that okay some outsider has entered the no lining of our nostrils so the brain will immediately send back a message saying that we want to get rid of this foreign particle so brain will send back a message to get rid of the foreign particle so what happens that time so as per the message which is sent by the brain we take a deep breath and then breathe out very strongly so deep breath and followed by a breathe out which is very strong followed by a strong breathe out so when you breathe out so strongly like what we actually do while sneezing we are actually breathing out very strongly and it is so strong that all the dust particles and foreign particles that might have got stuck in our in the linings of our nostrils they will all flow out or they will all fly out of our nose so the unwanted particles will just get out of our nose with this strong breathe out so this strong breathe out is nothing but your sneeze so sneezing is basically to get rid of the foreign particles and it is completely controlled by the brain because as soon as the foreign particles irritates the nostril linings a signal is sent to the brain that okay um, uh, some some outsiders have are trying to enter the nostrils so the brain will immediately send a signal just throw them out and that is what we do while breathing we breathe out so strong that all the foreign particles they just move out so till now thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.